be love All in for some more Anything that comes along All forever high above The kind of fear 안녕하세요, you. 안녕하세요, hey you. It's Italia and today we are working with the Seoul Tourism Organization again. Um, so today I am showing you the Seoul K Medi Center. So we're here right now. I'm going to show you what it looks like because it's it looks so beautiful. Like I kid you not, it looks like a Hanok. Obviously, it's new, so it's not like it doesn't look super traditional. It has modern elements to it, but anyway. So the Seoul K Medi Center. I'm just gonna read exactly what's on their website because I think they worded it perfectly. The Seoul K Medi Center exhibits historical and modern relics related to traditional Korean medicine, Oriental medicine, and 350 kinds of various medication. It develops and operates specialized education programs on the theme of Oriental medicine. Boom. So, the Seoul Tourism Organization has uh, basically made a course for me and a few other influencers that uh, they like to work with to experience. I believe it's a foot bath, like a full body massage, and then we're gonna make little like um, scented, I don't wanna say potaki because it's not potaki. I don't think they're called potaki. Watch them be called potaki. <laughs> um, like, you know how you guys have probably seen like traditional looking Korean pouches? One of those, but it has like herbs inside so that it smells really good. So those are the three things we're gonna do today. I am mm, I am really hoping that this foot bath doesn't mean someone's touching my feet because I have not gotten a pedicure in a very long time. Okay, so we just finished up. It ends up I didn't talk that much as expected, you know, because they're trying to like direct us through stuff. So, also, it was like really, really calm in there, and I didn't want to like mess up the bunugi. Have you guys noticed that I'm always like concerned about like being too loud in a relaxing area? Yeah, anyway, so luckily nobody was touching my feet during the um, foot bath. Yes. It was really nice. It was really, really pretty. I don't know if like I did a good job showing you through the footage because of the lighting, but like it was so nice. So I wanted to show you the little pouchy pouch. I have to put it right in front of my face or else like the camera won't focus, but I filled mine with a few pieces of cinnamon and then peppermint. The um, employee was saying that like peppermint helps like clear your mind. And I was like, this is so true. It just smells really nice also. She tied it really prettily for me. I wish I had gotten that on film. I thought I was recording and then I wasn't, but anyway. Okay, so I'm trying to decide where we're gonna go next because I brought my Korean history book that I showed you a few vlogs 
back. And I've been reading that. Anyway, I'm gonna figure out where we're gonna go so we can go that way and do some reading. So. like my favorite used bookstore chain so obviously you know we had to go in okay let's not die here uh we had to go in but um the cafe that i'm looking for should be on the street somewhere so hopefully we can find it oh susanna don't cry for me we had some good years so let me be world goes on I sang my song I gave my own true love for you to see Oh Susanna Don't you cry Hold the tears back and dry your eyes What's this life without a sweet goodbye I got a red velvet cake with a little cute dog. Okay, I'm, I'm trying not to drop this, hold on. Here. Oh my god. It looks like uh, Yunsu's little puppy doggy that was like in my Week in My Life video at KU for like the summer semester that I took. I mean, this could really be any dog in Korea that's white, but it's cute. Oh. I saw like, okay, so they had so many good looking sweets, right? So I saw the red velvet one. Oh my God, hold on, wait, hold on, it's getting quiet. Okay, now Natalia can talk. I'm like one of the only people in here and so I don't want to be loud, but anyway. Um, I saw that they had a ton of good sweets, right? And so I was trying to decide what I wanted and I saw a red velvet and I thought, oh my gosh, I haven't had red velvet cake since my birthday, like December 1st of last year. So nine months ago more than nine months ago. I would say 10 months ago now, because my birthday's on the first. Like today, okay, so today's September 1st, and my birthday is on December 1st, so it's been almost a year since I've had red velvet cake, which it's not like a cake that I'm like always craving or anything like that, but I just felt sentimental about it, so. Also, this is a cafe that I originally wanted to come to with Maddie, who I spent my birthday with, and we never got the chance to come here before she left uh, back to the United States, so maybe I'm just feeling like nostalgic or something, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I got cute cake and then I got a uh, vanilla latte. You know, you guys know, I'm basic. I always get vanilla lattes, but. Okay, I'm gonna eat some cake and then I'm gonna read my Korean history book, which I will show you in a bit. Dear friends and gentle hearts, Guys, the Harry Potter characters are on the mirror. Okay, so that one's Ron. That's Hermione. Oh my gosh, can you hear me? I hope so. This is Harry. There's Peter Pettigrew. And Sirius Black. Oh my goodness. And there's Lupin up there. Oh my goodness, wait. Can you see? I don't think so. Just, just believe me, okay? Just believe me. Out on the Bowery was the very end. 
Oh my goodness, my bangs are like a hot mess. But anyway, so I think I spent three and a half to four hours reading my history book. I know I didn't film myself reading the history book, but I don't know, I was just like, I just wanted to focus on reading the book. That motorcycle is really loud. But I wanted to focus on reading the book instead of like trying to film me reading the book. Also, I'm not ready to share my thoughts on the book yet. So, yeah, excuse me on that. But um, Audrey's supposed to come over to join us for dinner in Konde, which I don't think I ever actually said where we are. We are like in the area near Kongguk University. Um, but today, like I said earlier, it's September 1st or uh, Jungkook Day. <laughs> And it's also the first day of like university or like the semester for a lot of universities <laughs> Including Yonsei which is where Audrey goes to school So she needs some time to like finish class and then come over here So I'm not sure exactly when she's coming like two hours or so So I was thinking we could just like walk around and like see what's going on I mean there's some really nice like clothing stores around here I'm not trying to buy new clothes but I mean we can go look We can window shop so, yeah, I just wanted to give you an update on what's going on, so, yay. The room is filled with silence, we're alone and frightened, all we do is lie. We throw away our labor, like a piece of paper, gone and won't be found. And ooh, cause you were not pictures everywhere <laughs> so if you guys remember last year for Jimin's birthday this whole like common ground area was full of Jimin like pictures or posters or like big I don't even know what you call these banners banners I'm forgetting my English though you're gone it feels like something's watching me I turn my head around you if the stalker is you Found Audrey, obviously She helped me get pictures with Jungkookie Jungkookie Oh my god There were so many older armies there Literally I feel like they were more aggressive with taking pictures than armies our age Yeah I was gonna, I thought about telling you what happened and I was like, actually I won't <laughs> Oh yeah, no, they, not, yeah, yeah. No. Okay. Let's not talk about um, the I don't want to say rude. They were rude. Not. Though. It was rude. It was rude. It was rude. But you know it's what? Okay, though. It's, I'm like. It's on the pictures. See, Adi was like, I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna be the better person for karma's sake. And I was like, well, karma led to this lady being rude to us. So I'm not sure that works that way. Anyway, that's just Italia being like petty. I was very not happy. Anyway. Um, we're gonna go find some foods because neither of us has had a proper meal today. Oh. <laughs> don't be like us. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I'm like, maybe I should never say that in a video. I don't want to trigger anybody. <laughs> we yeah. have not had a proper meal. But like, I have places to be. Okay, in my defense, I had coffee. Me too. Okay, that's fine. Woo. That's I me. said a proper meal though. I said proper. He were proper. Ah, okay, maybe no. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go have some gogi celebrate Adi's first day at school Jungkook's birthday and Jungkook's birthday me I don't care that much <laughs> I wouldn't eat gogi just for Jungkook's birthday I'll eat it for your first day at school though okay we have to find our way to the gogi place I think he wants to put the meat <laughs> Hi! Hello! Oh my god, 
that so I'm sorry. My face feels like oily. It always feels oily when I end up finishing my videos here in this spot. I mean, it's always oily at the end of the day, but I feel like this lamp just like emphasizes the oily. Anyway, um, ta so don't look at the background too much because my house is representing my mental state, meaning it's a hot mess. Yes. Anyway, um, so I actually ended up like finishing this vlog when I was with Adri out by Conde, but I realized I kind of forgot to mention some of the things that I wanted to talk to you guys about. I wanted to say thank you to the Soul Tourism Organization for uh, inviting me out to visit the Seoul K Medi uh, Center. It was fun. I'd never had like any type of like Oriental medicine like experience before. And I know, I feel like I should mention this, I know that like over the past few years there's been some discussion on whether the word oriental is offensive or not. <laughs> um, but the reason I said it in this video and I said it just now is because like the Korean government still uses the word oriental. Uh, as does like this center. Like it's, the word oriental is written all over their webpage and they use it in so many of their descriptions about their um, services and programs and experiences and everything, so don't come for me for using that word. Anyway, I will leave the center's address and their website in the description box if you guys want to check out any of the experiences that I did today. And to be honest, I'm pretty sure they have more. Okay, I'm pretty sure they have more. Also, it's really, really pretty, and there's a cafe on site that looks like a hanok, and it's really, really pretty. I didn't go there today because I wanted to take you uh, to some place that was closer to Konde, uh, since I was gonna meet, you know, uh, Adri and go to the Jungkook exhibition thing in Common Ground, which I completely, like, forgot to tell you guys in the video. I was just like, I'm gonna go to Konde. Yeah, we specifically went there because of the birthday exhibition for Jungkook. Anyway, um, I'm gonna see you guys in the next video, so I'll tell me bye, guys. Bye!